All right, guys. So um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen what's in the news about this Stacy Buncey. Um, I was trying to do some research on her to find out why someone would do what they did, uh, why she did what she did, and I think I have a theory. So I'm going to watch just a couple seconds of the video so you can see uh, what she did. They claim that this was a stolen SUV, uh, and she decided to um, ram into this police officer who's got a is that a Glock? It looks like a Glock. All right, so let's see. And he and it's funny because well, it's not funny, but um, my my suggestion to any police officer: if a car is starting to ram you, get your ass away from the car as far as possible. And don't sandwich yourself between the door and the car. You're going to get killed or squished. And I'm surprised nothing happened to this dude. So we're going to play this. And boom! And of course, he fell down. So let's do a little bit of research on this woman. Stacy Ann Buncey. Um, there was an article that had something to do with... Um, uh, here's Stacy Ann Buncey right here, picture of her, and I'm sure that this was a mugshot taken after the cops beat the living daylights out of her in the police station. Um, I'll guarantee you that they did a number on her. They usually do. You try to kill a police officer, they're going to try to beat the living shit out of you. It says she's heavily tattooed, so I was looking up tattoo parlors. She's got King right here. Now, I noticed that there was... Um, some article in a Facebook page here opposingviews.com this happened back in May of 2015 an Oklahoma tattoo shop has come under fire after announcing it won't serve police anymore and it talks about uh, their ad search here it says in light of recent events in Waco Texas and other places people wearing the insignia patches of police departments are not welcome on the premises does this have anything to do with her behavior? Um, because uh, almost 200 bikers were arrested, 18 injured, uh, people were shot. Um, I don't know if you remember that incident back in Waco. And there's another, you know, Waco, right? Remember David Koresh? Well, that seems to be a hot spot for people getting hurt and killed. So maybe this has something to do with it. So I checked out the Norman Tattoo website. <clears throat> just to see what was in there and I haven't really checked anything out yet maybe you could do some research um, but there could be a connection obviously she's a she's heavily into tattoos so maybe someone could do a scrolling in here do a searching maybe there's a post um, any information on her would be important to know why she did what she did it could be that she just hates cops for what they did to her friends um, over there uh, in um, in Oklahoma, in Waco, in Texas. Now it's funny because uh, she's from Oklahoma. Norman is a small college town uh, near um, Tecumseh, Shawnee. Um, I had a business that was in that area so I know a little bit about it. It's, they're pretty calm in that area. I mean there's you know there's a little bit of drugs here and there. Not much going on as far as uh, employment um, there was a, um, there was, um, uh, a military base out there, and I don't know if it's still open or if they closed it down, and that kind of hurt the economy. So, there you go, folks. Um, so, uh, Isaiah, what is this, Isaiah, what does that say, 61? I don't know what that is. Anyway, have fun, have a great day, uh, be safe, and, uh, Talk to you later. Any other news, I'll I'll uh, get you posted. Bye bye.